off we go then, the second meeting of Peterborough Phantoms against <coughs> the, uh, Milton Keynes Lightning at home this year, the first time was in the challenge game for the Ashes there's a lot of noise a fairly big contingent travelled up from Milton Keynes for their contest, it's the first league meeting of the season there's out the back, winds one up, fires it out Fortunately, it's tidied up by Steve Duncombe off the boards. Doesn't get out too far. That's Tate breaking free to Tom Carlon. Lee Jameson comes after him, but Carlon still with it. Top shelf. Carlon gets away from Lee Jameson and lifts it up. Barry Hollyhead could do nothing about it. Peterborough go one mil up after two minutes and 15 seconds there. And what looked like a fumble at centre ice was taken on by... Warren Tate and then Tom Carlon who scored a cracking little number there straight over the top of Barry Hollyhead over his left hand shoulder held up in the middle by Glower He's got Morgan over on this left sound side the defenceman and back to Glower doesn't quite control it first time back it comes to Morgan well it's Glower and Morgan seems to be playing tennis with it. Spur gets here, just trickles off the end of his stick. Andre Smolter got a little bit of space, fires it in. Straight through the legs of Stephen Wall there to level things. Just over a minute later. It's one all now, Milton Keynes back in the contest. Clara and Brittle then. Puck comes back to Hutchinson, through to Carlon. Carlon tries to win through, it's, good. it's a goal! In comes Luke Ferrara, pounced on it, and as Hollyhead was on the floor, he just put it to this side of him. A Peterborough go 2 well, two one up, thanks to Luke Ferrara. Now oh, it's Maris Edens, right hand side is Lelanus, he's going to have to go chasing after it. Can he come up with it? Oh, almost. Hutchinson fires on in, takes a deflection, and now it's MK. Break out. It was too long for him. That's Lelanus. Good work by Adam Carr there. Gets the puck off Lelanus. Now Adam Brittle down that right hand side. Cutting through to the middle. He's now on the left. Slips it across to Schmulter. Schmulter fires it. He finds the back of the net. Straight over the elbow of Stephen Wall. So Brittle's pass to Schmulter, and Schmulter gets his second of the night to level things up. <laughs> That's Glower. Back to Newman. Hollyhead gets it away. Back into the middle from Morgan. Now Dwayne Newman with it in defence. Ferrara turns it on. Adam Carr picks it up for MK and runs it round the boards. Glower still after it. As Carl on. Tries to wrap it round the post. And the shot comes in. This time it's Luke Ferrara. His second of the night. Right in front there. Peter Roop back in front. With a minute and 37 seconds left. So, uh, in some ways. It was a good penalty. Zartepak down there, the pass comes through to Carr, lays it back across to Paul and now Peterborough on the go again as Warren Tate's intercepts is Lelanus, backhands it through and Holly Edge knocked it off the Moorings again down the other end. Carr fires one in. Wide of the tie, it comes back to Michael Farney, he has a go. That's uh, Lee Jameson now. Peterborough trying to get it. 
Glower well, gets slightly tripped, but more for the fun. You look well looking where I was going. It's Nick Paul now, player coach. On to the far side where Lee Jamieson's waiting. It comes back across to Nick Paul, poked away by James Ferreira. Good work. On the far side, it's Dwayne Newman into the middle to Carl on. Nice one. Oh, it's a goal! What a cracker! Good work by Tom Carlon and Mary Seedins. Great goal there. Peterborough breakout. Nice little bit of stick work. Oh, our Darius Lelanus. Uh, Mary Seedins had an easy conversion there as Hollyhead was going the wrong way. Peterborough four, Milton Keynes two. Peterborough trying to get away. Adam Carr. The clock ticks down. Newman going after it into the corner. The buzzer goes and Peterborough win. Four goals to two against Milton Keynes Lightning. So two points this weekend for Peterborough. And a win against Milton Keynes is always good. So midweek action coming up against Manchester. That promises to be a tough one.